when I was young, I used to spend some evenings, early in the evenings, going outside my house and looking up at the stars. There's a lot of reasons for that. I had some encounters and something happens when I was young, but I always wondered what I was seeing. And then I was told that when I was looking at the stars, I was not seeing what was happening then, or I was not even seeing something that might not even be there anymore. That it took millions of years, sometimes billions of years, for that light that I'm looking at in the night sky to actually reach Earth and reach my eyes. So what I was looking at basically in the sky is a history of what was, but they moved positions. Some have been destroyed. Black holes have taken them. Uh, new stars have appeared. Uh, so it's an ongoing process. But the problem was, I'm looking at it, wondering what I was missing. What's really there? And as I get older, and I'm listening to YouTube videos and reading science articles, and I'm finding out that they discovered something called dark matter and dark energy. And so when you're really looking up at the stars, you realize that you're not seeing it all. In fact, 73% of space is made up of dark matter. I'm not even sure what that is. I don't even know if the scientists really know what that is. And then 23% is made up of dark energy, which is even less easy to understand, which means... 96% of what is out there is already invisible to us. 96% of what we think is out there is invisible. And in the entire spectrum of electromagnetic field, radiation levels, EM, the human eye can only conceive of 0.0035% of that entire spectrum, which means we're not really seeing much of anything. Add into this the possibility, the likely possibility that there's inner dimensions, multi-dimensions, heavens, other worlds, things that are folded in at a different level. It's not at this material creation level that we see in this material world. So really, we're totally in the dark. We don't really know what's going on out there. So when people tell me that ah, there's no UFOs, there's no, there's no little men from other planets, there's no life out there but us. Seems a little arrogant. And just uh, based on my own personal experiences, I know that there's something more there. But when you look up there at the sky, contemplate the possibility. Look at that big question. Are we alone? Are we alone? 